the Buccaneers went from having so much swagger on hard knocks to being one of the most disappointing teams of 2017. Now, when it comes to the Buccaneers, obviously, they had a lot of hype train from them. From last year, they had a winning record. They had a new coach. They they got on hard knocks. They signed Deshaun Jackson. It seemed like everything was going pretty well for the Buccaneers. It seemed as if that they have a franchise quarterback and it looked as if that they're going to be eating a lot of W's or I can't do what James Winston did, but just eating a ton of W's and whatnot. But as the season went on, it was pretty self-evident that the Buccaneers were just not ready for this NFL season. Their ego got the best of them right here. It's absolutely true. And it seems as if that a lot of teams just preyed on their cockiness throughout the season. Obviously, offensively, they drafted across the board. They had Cameron Bray. They have O.J. Howard. They have Mike Evans. They got Deshaun Jackson. They got Jameis Winston. And also, they have Doug Martin, who can occasionally make a good play here and there. But they don't have a very good offensive line, nor do they have a very good defense. Yes, their defense really feels like it's just Gerald McCoy out there. And... That's what it really feels like at times. He just feels as if that's their face right there, that that's the guy who's right there in the defense. But defense, it's it's an, there's another big D part of defense, no matter how perverted that sounds. It's depth. They really need depth right there. And when you put this all in perspective, the Buccaneers just don't have that depth on that defense and whatnot. And they also don't play in the easiest division either. The NFC South is the hardest division to play off. Yes, they have three playoff teams, the Falcons, the Saints, and the Panthers this year. And I thought the and a lot of people thought the Buccaneers were gonna make the team. Nope. All the other teams in that division made the playoffs, not the Buccaneers. And I obviously had high hopes for the Buccaneers this year. I thought that they could potentially make it and all that. But it looks as if it's going to be another down year for the Buccaneers and whatnot. It looks as if they're going to have to wait for 2018 to make it back to the playoffs.